so we're uh, we, this this mic uh, the mics here are just for the live stream, um, and uh, they won't they will they will be looking at my stomach I think uh, that's why I made sure I took a bath. But then I can't really I like to be able to speak to the masses, and uh, it's always a compromise with these things. It's a, it's a long story. So uh, be sure and stay for the reception. You know, that's always uh, my second favorite part. Uh, if Sullivan weren't standing right there, I would say it was my favorite part. But, uh, <laughs> I wanna. So uh, I wanted to welcome, uh, I think for the first time in, in the series, uh, we have uh, a special guest, Dr. Maurice Jackson, visiting with us tonight, uh, who uh, <laughs> Maurice, I've been trying to send you some mail for about a year, but he's always in Dubai or the Antarctic or something like that. Uh, so now I know you're here. So, so, uh, and I, I always am thrilled that 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 Jim and Margareta Dandridge are here. Jim uh, is a diplomat. Um, do we still say you're a diplomat or in retired diplomat? Yeah, whatever. You don't. You never retire, right? Yeah. <laughs> Kind of like the CIA, isn't it? You, you retire? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I uh, said the wrong thing. So, uh, and Margareta, um, you know, Leoben is where, that's a famous, uh, is that where Goethe beer is from? Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's yeah. right. We didn't get there, we didn't get there. You know, we went to Budapest, and mm -hmm. it's a five and a half hour train trip from Budapest to Graz. So we decided just to stay in Budapest for a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Um, there are other. We have other special guests here tonight, but they they come to all of these things, so they're no longer special. <laughs> so. Oh, but Rusty's still special. <laughs> Rusty Hassan is here. Please say hello to Rusty. Whoa! Look at that. So uh, Rusty has interviewed uh, all 32 of the performers on this series over the last nine years, except for Sullivan Fortner, uh, but that's going to come up this, this coming week, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we archive those interviews. It's, they're fascinating. And by the way, uh, and I'm, we're very grateful to, to, to Rusty for uh, being involved in this way over the years. Um, let's see, what else do I have to say? Our next artist is in March. You can see Huna Kim, a uh, brilliant young pianist. Uh, that'll be the first Saturday in March. Oh, and uh, our, our last concert in, um, when was that? In May of last year, we had Alex Blake, uh, the bassist. So Alex uh, began his career at the age of 16 with Sun Ra then went on with Dizzy Gillespie, Pharaoh Sanders, and so forth. And then uh, when things slowed down and he, he uh, lost the will to live, he decided to work with me. So that was, uh, <laughs> uh, so we've been working together for quite a while. So we're actually going to be at Mesro, uh, Mesro Jazz Club in New York on December 12th, if we can make it up there. So we'll be doing things from the, the Chinese folk music, uh, traditional music, and then music of the 15th century, your favorite hits <laughs> of that era, and some other things we're working on. Uh, is there anything else I need to say? Be sure and uh, be sure and stay for the reception. Uh, I have excellent Vien I have Viennese wine. Uh, Gruner, uh, Gruner? No, no, tonight. It's uh, I, I'm wrong. I have. I'm so sorry, Margaret. I have Portuguese. You know, it's it's great to be in Vienna. You say, ah, live on, live on, Deutsche. Little inside humor there. We always get complaints from the live stream. There's always something wrong. And uh, so I get complaints by email. Sometimes they on the chat room. Sometimes they call the cater house. Something, you know, somebody called the cater house. So uh, 
I think that's pretty much it. Uh, we have wonderful people here tonight. Uh, be sure uh, when the, the music wraps up um, to say hello to, to the people you're, that are near you. Uh, you. You won't be disappointed. Um, Sullivan is going to do one uh, long set, uh, about an hour, and uh, we do have some occasional technical issues with the cameras, and so uh, every once in a while I have to get up and and uh, massage them and stuff like that, so be prepared for that. Um, is there anything else I need to say, John? Uh, no, if your cell phone is on, uh, that's okay if it rings. And uh, <laughs> you get a, a text, you know, bing. <laughs> we encourage that. <laughs> so, anyway. Something? Somebody say something? No. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to play solo piano. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. Somebody says, well, obviously. But um, the piano is a very interesting instrument because it can do anything and everything. And I will show you that. I'm not going to try to do any and everything. I'll just say that. I'll just play with my little puny mind can think of, and then we'll go from there. Um, this is, I'm getting sentimental over you. Oh, I want to say also that tonight's concert is in dedication of a great mentor of mine. Um, well not, not, not a huge, huge mentor, but he was definitely one on the sidelines for me and was very, very supportive, a guy by the name of Mr. Ellis Marsalis. <laughs> And we celebrate his birthday today. So there we go.
Thank you. That was Cole Porter's What Is This Thing Called Love. Can somebody please tell me what is this thing called love? <laughs> yeah, well, let's see. What's next? I don't know. I made a list <laughs> of a couple things. It might happen, it might not. <laughs> y'all just take the ride and hope y'all like it. This is Dizzy Gillespie. Oh. Thank you. 
let's switch gears a little bit.
What do y'all want to hear? <laughs> that was a tune by, um, I believe it was Antonio Carlos Jobim. It's called um, O Grand Amor. Um, up, medium, ballad, what do y'all want? What do you have on your list? <laughs> I have nice work if you can get it next. <laughs> All right, well. Then, okay, well, then, then the vote wins. <laughs> song in the middle of the pandemic. Well, we are in the middle of the pandemic yeah. still. <laughs> and um, I wrote it based on an old game entitled Snakes and Ladders. And coincidentally, that's the name of the song. So <laughs> here's Snakes and Ladders.
Judge Gershwin's embraceable you. <laughs> With a different kind of look to it. Um, I want to do something in dedication to my parents. It has absolutely nothing to do with any type of special day. You know, it's not their anniversary, it's nobody's birthday. Well, it's my baby sister's birthday today, but <laughs> Beyond that, uh, this is something that, this is a song that they introduced to me. And I try to have at least one song in my set that, um, that they taught me. Um, this is a David Foster composition. Made popular by the great genius of, vo of voice and modern music, in my opinion, uh, Ms. Shaka Khan. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
to thank y'all for letting me try that out. I've never played, I've never ever played that. So, yeah, in fact, a lot of these songs I've never played. So, you know, that's what I mean. You know, just let the brain work and just try to find some stuff and hope that people like it. Thank you. Um, I thought about this song on the train today. This is from Sweeney Todd. Um, and then I'm going to go into Richard Rogers, I think. These are songs that uh, remind me of some of my favorite things. <laughs> Pretty Women. <laughs>
so we thank you. We have two more that we'll try to do. This is from Arthur Rubenstein. Concerto in F, and then I will, cl I will close with the blues. Please c continue to support this series. Please continue to support live jazz from living jazz musicians. Not just the dead ones. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have any CDs for sale. I ran out. And now, and apparently you have to pay money so that you can sell CDs. That's the magic of the music industry. So you give me money, I buy CDs for y'all to pay me back later. <laughs> I guess that's how it works. I don't know. Anyway, thank you. Concerto and F. I'll give it a shot. Mm -hmm. 